Up in Northeast Texas, you'll find Daphne Prairie. And that guy over on the hill, that's landowner B.F. Hicks. Now this prairie is special. You see, these mounds are called Amima Mounds, and they're here because this land has never been plowed. This particular piece was set aside as a hay meadow about the time of the Civil War. That means no cattle were even allowed to graze on it. So you've got these pimple mounds, these Mima mounds, sometimes called, uh, that are like pimples on the face of the earth, and they're actual geological formations, the tallest left in the state of Texas. I guess you'd have to call it pride of place. I grew up here. I was always around this property. My family always took a lot of pride in it. I take a lot of pride in it. These Mima mounds are just so astounding. There's very little of these left anywhere. We did surveys of prairies about three years ago, and we found that there was uh, less than 1% of the prairies that are native still left in the whole state of Texas. That means that this is an extraordinarily rare prairie, and uh, we're excited that BF has worked so hard to maintain it and save it for future generations. To help preserve it for future generations, BF sets fire to this prairie every other year. We do prescribe burns out here on the, on the prairie to uh, reduce uh, woody stem growth. We also uh, do it to increase nutrients back into the, uh, into the soils. You know, it's just, it's just a good all-natural way to do it. The environment is so important to me in terms of what we have to do to try to step up to the plate and protect what we can. And if something was given to us and has passed to us, that's our legacy, and I'll do what I can to protect it. The biggest joy for right. BF is to open up his prairie home to anyone that wants to visit. This is my first time, and I'm excited. My children are excited, so it's my very first time. Up in the tree is an American kestrel. It's our smallest bird of prey. It's a raptor, it's a falcon. There got two of them right there. Everybody see them? There, that, that upland sandpiper we just looked at, he's just passing through, and the Daphne Prairie is like a gas station where you gotta refuel on a long journey. Some of our grassland species are in severe decline, species like the Eastern Meadowlark and the Northern Bob White. And it's critical that we have properties like this Daphne Prairie to give those species a place to call home. There are not enough places in Texas where small children can come out on an open piece of land oh, and trek back across grasslands, prairies. I want to share that. You can hear the metal arc, he's making that chatter. It has a little bit of black. black. I like the fact that um, he is able to see the defining colors of a bird, you know, up close and personal. Yep, that's it, that's it. The looks on their face is priceless. And to see my children so anxious to come out. Um, this is so amazing. I can't wait to do it again. The gates are always open or will be open for them, as long as I live anyway.